So with the release of Episode 2 Revenant, we actually got some different Titan and just kind of like exotic buffs across the board. And one of them was to an exotic that was mainly for PvP, but now has some pretty insane PvE worth to it, the Submachine Gun Legs Peacekeepers. Now, decided to do a little setup around those, showing off how powerful they are and doing an end game content. Now, before we get into the video and everything, now you can follow me over on YouTube and Twitter at Birdman778. Give a thumbs up on this video. Let me know something you're interested in seeing down below. Subscribe and become a member. Now, let's jump right on into the setup. So first, we're going to talk about the exotic for this, and that's going to be those Peacekeeper legs. Uh, they read Mecha Holster. While wielding a submachine gun, handling airborne effectiveness and movement are all improved, and damage against combatants will increase the longer you remain on a target, and submachine guns are reloaded when stowed. Now, when it comes to that damage, that damage over time on a target, they actually listed on the TWAB saying dealing damage to combatants with an SMG increases the SMG damage for a short time, to a maximum of 20 stacks to 100% bonus. Uh, each stack lasts one second, but uh, obviously the more that you shoot at a target, uh, the more those stacks will increase. So this is obviously uh, a really solid option for continuing damage. Uh, and we also have a really solid uh, exotic weapon that got some buffs to it that would actually uh, really benefit from this as well. Now, typically I talk about the subclass, but let's actually talk about that next weapon, and that's going to be the Huckleberry. Uh, the Huckleberry actually reads Ride the Bull, increases the rate of fire and recoil while you're holding down the trigger, and final blows dealt with this weapon reload the magazine. Now, obviously that final blows of this uh, will reload the magazine is a new part, and actually they kind of changed up the catalyst for this as well. Originally, it was just like this rampage here that kills with this weapon term temporarily increase the damage and stacks to three times, uh, but they changed it to kinetic trimmers instead uh, and actually put that rampage up top. Sustained kinetic damage to this target emits a shockwave that damages any nearby targets. So obviously this is a really solid option for you know damage over time, shooting one specific target to get those extra kinetic trimmers, that extra damage damage over time especially with those peacekeeper legs where you know the longer you're shooting at a target the more of those stacks that you're getting with it for that increased damage so this is a really potent combination now for not only like you know basic ad clear and stuff but also for like those like kind of medium-sized enemies to just like you know lost sector style enemies i've been able to actually handle champs pretty well with this as well uh, and it's just all around a really solid setup now, my other weapons that I'd use to complement it, obviously I'm using right now an Aquilo shotgun just because of the fact that shotguns are a barrier option for this season, uh, for this episode. And then I also like to use the slammer just because that cold steel perk that's on it uh, essentially gives it intrinsic overload and also unstoppable all the time. But we're able to handle pretty much every single champion uh, within our subclass on its own. So let's talk about our subclass real quick and everything that's coming in here. First up for our super, we're going to be running Twilight Arsenal. Uh, it's literally the strongest, you know, super that Titan has really at this point. It also just got a buff to those relic uh, axes that whenever you like throw them, uh, the ones that are on the ground you can pick up have a... Uh, about a 20% boost on them as well against PvE targets. So obviously that's a really great thing, but also just being able to like weaken targets uh, with them as well is all around just a really solid super. When it comes to our abilities, we actually really want to use that Rally Barricade, uh, especially for the fact that it just got a huge buff to it. Uh, the fact that it's going to draw hostile fire, essentially doing that taunt to enemies so that you're being more of a tank. And also it's uh, increasing your damage reduction as well now, uh, and area effect damage. So all around, it's just a really solid option. For our melee, I'm running shield throw mainly for the fact that whenever it bounces between targets, I'm going to be able to get that overshield. Overshield also got a buff this uh, most recent episode for the fact that it's uh, about a 65% plus uh, boost to the health of it. So obviously it's a really great option for all around survivability. Pulse grenade, I'm pretty, I mean, you can kind of go back and forth with this one and also the suppressor grenade, depending on what you're feeling like. I prefer pulse uh, purely for the fact that it's just really solid for ad clear uh, and also for like throwing at like a specific boss that might be floating in the air or something like that. It's going to stick to that spot and do that awesome damage over time. For our aspects, I'm going to be running Diamond Lance. Diamond Lance also got a bit of a buff. The fact that, you know, all around it's just like a solid option for constantly doing debuff targets, uh, freezing enemies, especially unstoppables, being able to like freeze them instantly and then shatter them to get them to have that stun. But also for the fact that if you do the slam with it now, you're also going to be able to create those stasis crystals that are going to give you that frost armor. So that's really, really good option. 
Also, I'm running Dranger's Lash so that I'm able to complement my barricade a little bit more. It's going to shoot out that suspension uh, beam out from the front of it. Uh, again, this is a great option against Unstoppable Champions. It kind of has this like that baked-in Unstoppable stun in it uh, for the fact it's going to lift them up in the air, uh, and then I can do damage. Also, it's just great against any enemy in general that can be suspended uh, for the fact that, you know, it's going to take them out of the fight for a second, so you can either, you know, get out, run away, or just in general, just be able to do damage over time. For our fragments, we're going to be running faster to protection. While we're surrounded, we're going to be more resistant. Uh, I definitely like this a lot just for all-around damage reduction. Faster to dominance, now our pulse grenade is going to get jolting effects as well, just kind of increasing that ad clear uh, potential of it. Facet of Hope, while you have an elemental buff, your class ability regenerates more quickly. We have a lot of ways to activate that, uh, whether it's, you know, slamming our diamond lance to get that frost armor. Uh, and the next uh, fragment we're going to talk about here in a second, overshield from our um, shield throw, or also another fragment we're going to talk about here in a second. You just have a lot of options to constantly keep up that barricade. Facet of Dawn, powered melee hits uh, make you... Uh, radiant and also again if you get those final blows it's going to make allies radiant as well obviously a great way just to increase our all-around damage uh, especially with our huckleberry uh, but also just like keeping up you know that facet uh, of hope from before facet of purpose uh, whenever we pick up an orb of power we're going to get essentially whatever buff is for our super uh, so it's going to be overshield so we're able to constantly keep up that really juicy health and then Facet of Grace is really great for kinetic weapons to keep up your transcendence. Defeating targets with a kinetic weapon grants you bonus transcendence energy. Defeating targets with your super grants you and nearby allies bonus transcendence energy. Constantly just feeding into that bar so you're able to keep up that extra juicy damage. Now when it comes to our armor and everything we're going to be using here, first up on our helmet, I'm going to be running Kinetic Siphon. Obviously, I'm getting a lot of kills with my kinetic weapon, uh, so I was able to create those all the time. Special Ammo Finder and Heavy Ammo Finder as well, just to keep up that awesome ammo between my other two weapons. On our gloves, we're going to be running Boltering Detonation so that my uh, class ability energy gets extra energy whenever I do damage with my grenade. Uh, momentum Transfer so that whenever I cause damage with my grenade, my melee cooldown will go. Uh, you're able to have like really fast access to your grenade with this, so this is a great way to keep up, uh, again, you know, those other two abilities uh, right here. And then also Kinetic Loader, just so we're able to get a faster reload on our Huckleberry. Chess piece, I went with two different resistance mods. Pretty much pick this just depending on what activity you're going into. But I also put a charged up just so that an extra armor charge available so that I'm able to keep up uh, essentially our next set of perks uh, a little bit longer. On our legs, recuperation, obviously giving me some free health whenever I pick up an orb of power. And then two kinetic weapon surges so that I have a free 17% extra damage for my Huckleberry whenever I have armor charges. Again, feeding into uh, that last one that charged up. And then finally, on our class item, we're going to be running Powerful Attraction, pulling all those orbs, uh, Reapers, so that whenever we get a kill after activating our barrier, we're going to get another orb, and then Bomber, so that whenever I activate that barrier in our targets, I'm going to get some energy back to my grenade. Now, currently, I don't have all of this uh, filth out for me right now. Unfortunately, I've got to say, uh, the artifact doesn't really do a whole lot for this build. Uh, but I'm going to go over just a couple things that I think that could be, like, you know, kind of a benefit. First up, Killing Breeze rapidly. Uh, rapid weapon final blows grant you bonus mobility. Great for just, you know, all around movement. And then also, since this is a scorn focused season, uh, fell the Revenant, deal uh, bonus weapon damage against scorn enemies. Total Carnage after finishing a power full combatant, gain temporary damage resistant. Obviously, really solid for just, you know, damage reduction. And then Deliberating Wave finishers emit a damaging wave that matches your element of your currently equipped super. So obviously, uh, that's just really solid all around. But if you have that boost on as well, it's really great for this void uh, super, you know, prismatic setup because it's going to create that weakening blast around you. Now, we like to talk about how this is always going to be beneficial against those higher tier enemies, those uh, champions and everything. Obviously, barrier, we're using shotgun right now, but also for the fact that if you don't want to use a shotgun, uh, you have that fast of dawn uh, to constantly have access to. Just make yourself radiant, and then whatever weapon you're using will do that. Unstoppable, we obviously have that suspending blast from our drinker's lash. We are able to freeze targets with diamond lance, uh, but we can also use that slam with that cold steel perk uh, so that's obviously a couple different ways right there that are going to be really solid for you and then overload right now this season uh, smg is overload so just use that or you can also use your pulse grenade with that jolting effect on it as well to take advantage of that thanks so much for watching the video guys i hope you really enjoy it again let me know something down below that you're interested in seeing uh, i'm going to be testing out a couple of other things icefall mantles uh horror frost uh, Mass of the Quiet one. We're going to have a couple different builds for Titan, and then I'll have some other Hunter ones a little bit down the road. Uh, so just be expecting some, you know, 
much all around content uh, kind of churning out here in the next couple of days or so. But again, always let me know something down below. Give a thumbs up on the video to help us out on the algorithm. Subscribe, become a member, and follow me over on YouTube and Twitter at Birdman778. Guys, thank you so much. I hope you have a great night, day, or whatever it may be.